What is going on traders? On this channel we talk a lot about high probability setups and those would be our two legged move second entries at the key entry points and it doesn't matter whether the key entry point is a trend line, support or resistance line or just an exponential moving average. The point is when you combine a second entry two legged move with the proper key entry point under the right circumstance it can result into a very very high probability setup but there are going to be situations in the market when this very setup will try to trap you into wrong direction. And I'm going to show you guys in this video how to avoid getting trapped. All right, and I have marked two traps that occur on today's chart. And what I want to show you guys and what it all comes down to is that both of these setups are two legged moves, second entries at the key entry points. Both of these setups on the first glance look like a high probability setup. This is the second entry short at the EMA and this is the second entry long at the EMA. So both setups look like they're going to be high probability setups, but they're not. And why are they not high probability setups? Well, it, because it all comes down to market context, market structure. So we're going to analyze that because when we're starting trading, the first thing we have to do is we have to analyze what is the current market structure. If we take a look at the yesterday market structure, it is pretty obvious to even a novice trader that this is going to be an uptrend. Prices are making higher highs, prices are making higher lows. We are above the EMA and the trend line is holding prices nicely. This is a clearly and strong uptrend. Today, however, didn't start this way. We have leg down, leg up, leg down, leg up, leg down, leg up. So this is a clearly a trading range. So I'm keeping in the back of my mind that I'm probably going to have to trade this as a trading range, you know, for the majority of the time, unless we burst out and break out and go into a trend, which I don't know that's going to happen. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy the lows and sell the highs. So I'm going to draw my support and my resistance line. And you guys can see this is a clear land trading range. We're swinging up and down and the EMA is in the middle of those bars. There's no clear trend, trend up, no clear trend down. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to draw my trend line so that I can safely navigate to these key entry points and I can safely predict what where is going to be a high probability setup. So that's what I'm doing. I have a break and a new high. So that's the rule of a trend line. After break of a trend line, traders will attempt to make a new extreme and I have this downtrend working lower. I have a break. And now I'm expecting for prices to make a new low, correct? Yes, that is correct. But remember, overall market structure is trading range. And the way you trade trading range is you buy the lows, you sell the highs, or you fade the breakout if you have a good signal bar. So we have a new low right here. We have a first entry short, pullback, second entry short. But why don't we want to take the second entry short? Even though it is off a strong key entry point, off the EMA, well, because the market context is a trading range and we just broke lower and most breakouts of trading ranges will fail and we're coming off the lows. And when you're coming off the lows of the trading range, you're most likely heading to the other side. So this trap, first entry short, second entry short failure is actually a good high probability setup in itself. This would be called a failed second entry. So this is a high probability setup, second entry in a trend and a counter trend trend. High probability setup is a failed second entry. Now here's the second trap and guys remember the trap looks like a second entry it needs to lure traders in this for example this is not a trap because nobody's going to go long on a first entry in a downtrend under the ema this will not trap a lot of people the whole idea behind traps is the trap will lure a lot of traders in because a lot of traders trade price action as well so they will lure a lot of traders in who don't really you know want to analyze the proper market context so this would be the second trap for the day first entry long pull back second entry long at the ema but what was wrong here so first since i'm already playing the trading range rules and i'm drawing my shortened trend lines i'm going to draw my shortened trend line here as well you guys can see this is a nice channel that is working higher we have a break and we have a two legs to new high now i can also measure this first leg copy it put it to the here and I have a second leg, almost perfect measured move to the very tick. First leg, pull back, second leg. So after I see this two legged move up and I see that prices broke the trend line and created a new high, I'm no longer expecting any more pushes higher. Plus, most breakouts of trading ranges will fail. And if you have a good signal bar, you want to fade the breakout or you want to wait for a lower high. So I know that this is a trading range and most breakouts will fail. So I'm not interested in taking a setup above the failed breakout above the trading range above the resistance 
because prices may, will most likely pull back. So this second entry long is a trap because two-legged move up happened and we have a break and a new high. So this would be a good entry to go short on because this is all we, what you would see. This is still looking very choppy. This is not looking like a very strong trend. These are just two legs up and you're expecting for prices to reach down here. Now, I am going to mark this setup, this second entry long at the EMA as a high probability setup. And you may be wondering, Tom, why did you mark this second entry long and this second entry long is a trap and this is okay? Well, that's a good question. I'm going to explain to you guys in a minute. Once prices will break the trend line and they will make a new extreme, what's going to happen next? Well, according to rules, prices may straight up reverse or they will go into correction. And this is what happened right here. Prices tried to reverse the market, but it didn't happen and it ended up correcting. We ended up being in this correction for almost 30 minutes. So after breaking a new high, prices will straight up reverse or go into correction. In this case, there was the correction period. Now, since this is a trading range, I'm expecting for prices to push the market lower because I don't know that these prices will resume in an uptrend. There is no way for me to know. So what I'm looking at is I'm looking for the first leg, first attempt to pull the market lower, pull back, and this is the second attempt to pull the market lower. And both times the bears are failing and it is indicating to me that there's a lot of buyers at this support. It previously acted as a resistance and now the side switched and it acts as a support. First lag, second lag. Both two attempts failed to drag the market lower. We didn't even make it to the middle of trading range. This tells you that there's a lot of strong buying momentum in the market. A lot of people are willing to go long. So after this correction period, when you have these three big bullish bars, this indicates you that the trend will resume. And I'm gonna confuse you even a little bit more, but, but don't worry, it's going to be okay that in my video about tips about trend lines i specifically mentioned that the bigger patterns take more time to develop what you don't want to do you don't want to draw your trend line something like this or something like this because this is not how really market operates i explained when you're looking for a bigger pattern you need to give market a little bit more room and let it breathe to make and show you what's the bigger pattern is and for bigger pattern to develop and this is exactly what the correction served for this correction served just to make this bigger pattern more visible now there is no way for us to go long here because this would just set up the trend line we have no prior reference to anything this is just the first load the market would confirm this trend but the point here is that this trade is okay because right now the bigger pattern was established but this trade was not okay because the shorten pattern played out and there is not enough room for me to look for a bigger pattern. So hopefully you guys are not too confused about this. And you have a break of this upper trend line working higher and attempt to make a new extreme. Overall, once again, it is a Friday and it has been a very slow day. But I specifically wanted to talk about these two traps because that's what trap look like. looks like. Trap is just a second entry high probability set up at the key entry point. But the thing here that is different is the market context. It ha you have to analyze the entire market structure, what is happening before you pull the trigger. I'm going to wrap the video and make sure you study your charts over the weekend. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.